Hello everybody, my name is OXFU and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2 where we're soaking wet so we're just gonna run around a little bit just to dry off because we want to make sure Snake doesn't stay soaking wet for too long otherwise he might catch a cold. Oh shoot, guard coming this way. Quick, let's pop in here and hide. Oh no, he might get us. Let's hide in this locker. Huh? Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> that guard doesn't actually come in here, but we do have these interesting posters in the men's locker room, so we're just going to take a picture, you know, save it for later. Why not? <laughs> Good. Ah, see, Snake likes it too. That means it can't be wrong, right? Right? Oh, forgot that one's locked. <laughs> I don't believe any of the locked ones. I'll show you what I mean. Um, so you can actually open these locked lockers sometimes. I think there's one or two that you can actually open. But if they have something in them, the door will fall forward. If they don't, it'll fall backwards. Alright, so first thing I want to say, thank you, everybody. Well, first thing, I've been talking quite a bit. <laughs> thank you, everybody, who's been supporting this well, that first episode, I was going to say this series, but it's not really a series yet. And who's been criticizing it. Uh, both are extremely helpful. The first Good. helps make me feel accepted. The second is even more important. It helps me better my work. So, with these posters, a little interesting thing you can do with them. You have to have the pistol equipped, first of all. But you can... If I can get Snake's move right, if you hit them, they will make a jiggling noise. Quite fun. I don't think... No, if you just punch them in first person, you cannot make the same noise. Works with both posters. If I can... Come on, Snake. There we go. And if a jiggling noise doesn't really do it for you and you want to get a little more intimate with the poster, you can always try knocking around a place a little bit more it. There we go. You hit her in the right place and an alarm will sound and they will clear the room. And yes, Otakon, they're clearing the room. We know. But we're just going to wait here and watch as they completely forget their duties to look at a little poster we left out for them. <laughs> Not that they weren't were any better, but... <laughs> All right, enough fooling around. We've got a place to get to. I'm just gonna wait a second, take out this guy. We're gonna make our way back up the ship. Wait for this guy to turn around and we can just slip by him right there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, looks like we're in the hole, so. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> um, I might be screwed here, actually. I'm decent at Metal Gear Solid 2, but I'm not that good. Uh, let's run out. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Alright, they are going to be coming from the south, I believe. Nope, we're good. Okay, let's get in the lockers and we will speed this up. Alright, they're in caution. I can get by them now. <laughs> Just had to wait for evasion to end, to end. Actually, while we're here, I can show you guys another thing. Say we're getting a little lonely on this ship. Just go in for a quick kiss, you know. Nothing weird or anything. Kissing a, kissing a poster in a locker. Usually in lockers, it'll let, it'll let you look through this grate. Be careful though, hit it too fast. You'll just hit the front of the locker. Well, you know, another quick kiss before we get out. Another. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh man, he's right there. Ah, oh, well, caution's almost over. Ooh, that is a guy that is quite kitted out. I don't think we can get by them very easily. But caution's over, so we don't have to. It's a nice change from Metal Gear Solid 1. You actually have to wait for 
Well, especially if they catch you in a room. You have to wait for the room to clear and all that. Hmm. Seems like we have another room full of disposable grunts. Huh! I love using the jump out shot, and I never get to use it. That made no sense, because if I loved using it, I'd use it all the time. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool and all, but it's not really useful in most situations. You got a dog tag around your neck. I can see the sparkle. <laughs> you really do get into a routine with these holdups, so that once you get to like the fourth or fifth dance for you, it's, it's just not special anymore. This guy's gonna wake up in a minute, but that's that's fine. They wake up really quick and hard, and I don't like it. Aw oh, man. We got so many things to check out. Where should we go first? Well, let's go here first. We got magazines! You can punch them, you can shoot them, but I'm on hard, so I'm gonna just punch and kick them. And then you're gonna fall down. A lot of them are adult magazines, as you might be able to see here. You can shoot them. Sometimes they'll flip the page. That one's actually splayed out with the cover showing, so we can't <laughs> see a little video feed of maybe what's in the hold. I don't know. And last but not least, we got three things over here. First of all, made a big thing out of this when the game first came out. You can break bottles and all that stuff. You can interact with the environment. They'll drop the wine, even though I'm sure I saw a rum bottle, a whiskey bottle and plenty of other bottles of other spirits. There is another picture we can take a ca- uh... We, there's another picture we can take a camera of. That's what I was about to say. There's another picture we can take a picture of. <laughs> and, last but not least, there's a bucket of ice. Hmm. Let's shoot it, shall we? If we're able to interact with everything. Oh my god, ice cubes everywhere. And if we keep watching, we'll actually see... Well, the ice begin to melt. I know it's not as exciting as the stuff you usually come to watch in these videos. I mean, we're not watching paint dry, we're not watching grass grow, but it is still kind of cool in its own right. And, I mean, it could be worse. We could be trying to take pictures for the internet <laughs> while trying to avoid a ship full of Russians and Marines. <laughs> but who, that's, who wants to do that? One more thing, what I was trying to do earlier, but I didn't get the chance was, I was going to hide down here, just roll out of the way. <laughs> you will see me do that quite a lot, I just, I don't know, something about seeing Snake faceplant his way up or downstairs. <laughs> anyway, there's one more guy down here. Good, we have enough ration, or lack of rations. We're gonna hold him up. We're gonna get his dog tag. As you saw, I didn't actually have to shoot there when I let go of uh, the trigger. I just find it very hard to be able to do that because of their pressure-sensitive trigger, their press pressure-sensitive uh, buttons, so. Oh no, we took his ration and now the flies that were buzzing around him are buzzing around us. What do we do? Now, neat thing is about thing about these guys, you can lose them, don't worry, but they will stay around you for quite a while, and they will actually alert enemies to your presence, which is amazing. I don't know what that guy was just standing around there doing nothing for. <laughs> oh, because he actually got uh, radio contact with. HQ. They're gonna send out guys to check that out, but you know what? We knocked them out, so they're just gonna come in and kick them, kick them awake. So we're gonna roll out! That didn't work. Uh, we're gonna run, because they actually just found us. <laughs> I forgot that you could actually sound the alarm while you're going through doors. <laughs> so, we got a guy around the corner. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh no, I don't know how we're going to get rid of him. Looks like we picked up a fly, too. Well, here's an idea. There's an alarm right here. We can actually ring it, and he'll come by, and we'll hold him up. <laughs> oh. And then we'll go in front of him and hold him up for real. Yep, when I said things... 
are a lot of things in this are interactive. I meant it. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait for you. I just want your your dog tag. Is there anything in here I can never remember? Ah, M9 ammo. We'll need that. We're gonna be using a lot later on, later on. There is another guy to the south. I'm assuming this is north, south, east, and west. The map. But we're not going to bother with him right now, because there's no reason. Oh no, a camera! Quick, snake, duck! Okay, you did. You ducked back. Uh, I'm actually going to leave that <laughs> at this. This at that. I'm going to leave this episode at that. <laughs> Just because, well, we've done quite a bit in this episode. Uh, and I have no idea how long I've been going for. So, I'll see you guys next time. On Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2 with Mio X Fu. As the game just showed us how to peek around and then use the right stick to look around. Ah oh, man, I love this game. It shows you so many things just by doing them for you. Well, we're gonna sneak past this camera, but then I'm gonna let you guys go. So. Criticize! I'm not gonna ask for like, comment, and subscribe. Criticize! Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you think I could do, be doing better, either with video, with commentary, because I want to make these videos the best I can, God damn it, Best I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye for now.